Website Evaluation 101. You're an NHS student and you've been assigned a research project on a topic such as global warming. You're required to have at least four quality sources for this project from a variety of resources. After first accessing the NHS databases and ebook collections, you turn to Google as a quick and easy way to find your final source. But a Google search on your topic produces 99 million results. How do you know which one to use? There are four criteria to consider when evaluating the quality of a website. Authority, objectivity, currency, content quality. Let's look at each of these individually. Authority has to do with the person or group that authored the site, their affiliations, credentials, education, or experience that qualifies them as an expert on the topic. Checking for objectivity starts with determining the purpose or mission of the site. Is the purpose of the site to inform, persuade, entertain, sell, or is it just a hoax? The URL or web address itself can also help you. The most trustworthy sites are the ones that end in .gov or .edu. Those to be cautious of include ones that end in .net, .org, or .com. You will also want to check the information on the site for bias and opinion. Does it present only one side of an issue? Does it present more opinion than fact? Is the author representing an organization that has a biased point of view on this topic? Sometimes this is obvious, but often it is subtle and not easy to detect. Beware of sites with lots of advertising, as their purpose may be to make money rather than to inform. Currency refers to information that is up to date. You can usually look at the bottom of the page to see when the page was last updated or modified. If the site hasn't been updated recently, you will want to eliminate it. Also check the page for dead links. This is another indication that the page has not been updated or maintained in some time. Judging the quality of the content begins with noticing misspellings or errors on the page. If you notice careless spelling or sloppy writing, you probably don't want to use the site. Quality information includes citations for sources used as well as an accurate list of references, so look for these on the site. Let's go back to the results page for our search on global warming. The results page contains several clues that can help you choose a quality site. Notice that the very first result with a tan background is actually an advertisement that a company or organization paid for. That's not a good choice for our research. Other top results include a .gov, a .com, and a .org. Often included early in search results is Wikipedia. As we know, Wikipedia is an open source encyclopedia where articles are anonymously written and updated. Because you can't easily determine the authority, objectivity, or content quality of a Wikipedia article, this source should not be used for academic research. Let's take a closer look at the first result from our search, a site maintained by the U.S. government's Environmental Protection Agency. Because this site is a .gov and contains extensive information about the agency, you can be confident in its authority. The site presents government research information, facts, and statistics. Additionally, there is no personal opinion presented, nor is there evidence of bias. Therefore, it meets the guidelines for objectivity. A quick check at the bottom of the page shows that the page has been updated recently. Clicking on the links on the page confirms that the site is maintained and current. Our final check for the quality of the content reveals that the text demonstrates conventions of good writing, including correct spelling and mechanics. Like any quality source, this site contains references for the information it provides. As users of information, it is important to understand where your information comes from. The burden is on you, the researcher, to evaluate the authority, objectivity, currency, and content quality of your sources.